The Montreal Protocol stands as a triumph of global cooperation. Faced with the threat of falling stratospheric ozone levels, nations united to phase out ozone-depleting substances, averting environmental disaster. By protecting the ozone layer and steering it towards recovery, the protocol safeguards all life on Earth. This World Ozone Day, we celebrate the protocol's contributions to climate action. Eliminating ozone-depleting substances has significantly slowed global warming, delaying the first ice-free Arctic summer by up to 15 years and preserving carbon sinks. Without intervention, unchecked ozone depletion and excessive UV radiation would have hindered plant growth, reducing vegetation's capacity to absorb CO2. With the Kigali Amendment, climate action is accelerating further. Countries are now committed to phasing down hydrofluorocarbons, or HFCs, potent climate warming gases. If fully implemented, the amendment could prevent up to 0.5 degrees Celsius of warming by 2100. The cooling sector, which consumes about 20% of total electricity, is expected to more than double by 2050. Implementing the Kigali Amendment and energy-efficient cooling technologies could double climate benefits and help avoid up to 1 degree Celsius of warming by the end of the century. Efforts are already underway, with 160 of 198 parties ratifying the Kigali Amendment. This World Ozone Day, we celebrate our achievements and look forward to future climate actions under the Montreal Protocol. More for the ozone layer, more for the climate, and more for our planet.